For today's video, we are going to talk about how to simplify radical expressions and we are going to explain everything in details. So let's have an example. On example number 1, we have square root of 8. How can we simplify the square root of 8? Since our index is 2 and our radicand is not a perfect square, to simplify the square root of 8, we are going to find two factors which one of the factors is perfect square. And the factors of 8 are 4 and 2. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. And the square root of 4 is 2. Therefore, we are going to have 2 square root of 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have square root of 75. Since 75 is not a perfect square, we are going to find two factors, which one of the factors is perfect square. And the factors of 75 are 25 and 3. 25 multiplied by 3 is 75. And the square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, we are going to have 5 square root of 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have cube root of 81. This time, our index is 3 and our radicand is not a perfect square. To simplify the cube root of 81, we are going to find two factors which one of the factors is perfect cube. And the factors of 81, that is 27 and 3. 27 multiplied by 3 is 81. And the cube root of 27 is Three. Therefore, we are going to have 3 cube root of 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have cube root of 104. Since our index is 3 and 104 is not a perfect cube, to simplify cube root of 104, we are going to find two factors, which one of the factors is perfect cube. And the factors of 104 that is 8 and 13. 8 is a perfect cube and 8 multiplied by 13 is 104. And the cube root of 8 is 2. Therefore, our answer is 2 cube root of 13. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have square root of x squared y raised to 5. To simplify the given expression, we are going to divide the exponent of x and y by 2 because our index is 2. So let us rewrite this one as square root of x squared, y squared, y squared, and y raised to 1. So as you can see, the exponent of y is being divided by 2 because our index is 2. So let us have the square root of x squared. And that is x. And since we have 2y square, let us have y square. And then we have square root of y. And this will be our answer. On example number 6, we have square root of 36, x raised to 7, y raised to 4. So let us have the square root of 36. And that is 6. And let us write x raised to 7, y raised to 4. And to simplify the radicand, we are going to divide the exponent of x and y by 2 because our index is 2. So let us write 6 and then let us have x square, x square, x square, and then x. As you can see, the exponent of x is being divided by x square, x square, x square, and x raised to 1. If you are going to add this exponent, it will give us 7. And then let us have y square and y square. It will give us y raised to 4. So let us have 6. And since we have 3x square, we are going to have x cubed. And we have 2y square, that is y square square root of x. And this will be our answer. On example number 7, we have square root of 45, x raised to 10, y raised to 3. So to simplify the given expression, let us have the factors of 45, 
which one of the factors is perfect square, and that is 9 times 5. 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. And then, let us divide the exponent of x and y by 2 because our index is 2. So let us have x square, x square, x square, x square, x square. If you are going to add the exponent of x, it will give us 10. And then for y cubed, that is y square and then y raised to 1. So let us simplify. The square root of 9 is 3. And since we have 5 x square, it will give us x raised to 5, and then we have y. And for our radicand, that is 5y. And this will be our answer. On example number 8, we have cube root of 128, x raised to 5, y raised to 8. So to simplify the given expression, let us find the factors of 128, which one of the factors is perfect cube. The factors of 128, that is 64 and 2. And 64 is a perfect cube. And then, let us divide the exponent of x and y by 3 because our index is 3. So let us have x cubed and then x squared. And then for y raised to 8, that is y cubed, y cubed, and y squared. So the cube root of 64, that is... 4, and then we have x cubed, and that is x, and then since we have 2y cubed, it will give us y squared to the cube root of 2x squared, y squared, and this will be our answer. On example number 9, we have cube root of 27, x raised to 6, y squared. To simplify the given expression, let us have the cube root of 27, and that is 3. And then let us write cube root of x raised to 6, y squared. And to simplify this one, let us divide the exponent of x and y by 3 because our index is 3. So let us have 3 cube root of x cubed, x cubed, and then y squared. If you are going to add the exponent of x, it will give us 6. So let us have 3. And then since we have 2x cubed, it will give us x squared cube root of y squared. And this will be our answer. On example number 10, we have cube root of negative 8, x raised to 7, y raised to 10. To simplify the given expression, let us have the cube root of negative 8, and that is negative 2. And let us rewrite the cube root of x raised to 7, y raised to 10. And then let us divide the exponent of x and y by 3 because our index is 3. So let us have negative 2 cube root of x cubed, x cubed, and then x raised to 1. If you are going to add this 1, it will give us 7. And then for y raised to 10, that is y cubed, y cubed, y cubed, and then y raised to 1. So let us simplify. Let us write negative 2. Since we have 2 x squared, and that is, or x cubed rather, it will give us x squared. And then we have 3 y cubed, and that is y raised to 3 cube root of x y. And this will be our answer. On example number 11, we have fourth root of 81, a raised to 8, b raised to 12. To simplify the given expression, let us have the fourth root of 81, and that is 3. And let us write the fourth root of a raised to 8, b raised to 12. Since our index is 4, let us divide the exponent of a and b by 4. So let us write 3 to the 4th root of a raised to 4, a raised to 4, and that is 8. And for b raised to 12, that is b raised to 4, b raised to 4, and then b raised to 4. So let us have 3. And since we have 2, a raised to 4, it will give us a square. And then we have 3 
b raised to 4, that is b cubed. And this will be our answer. On example number 12, we have 4th root of 32, x raised to 9, y raised to 15. So to simplify this one, let us have the factors of 32, which one of the factors is perfect, 4th root. And the factors of 32, that is 16 and 2. And then let us divide the exponent of x and y by 4 because our index is 4. And that is x raised to 4, x raised to 4, and x raised to 1. If you are going to add this one, it will give us 9. And for y raised to 15, that is y raised to 4, y raised to 4, y raised to 4, and then y cubed. Total of 15. So let us simplify. The fourth root of 16 is... 2 and then let us have 2 x raised to 4 it will give us x square and then we have 3 y raised to 4 that is y cubed fourth root of 2 x y cubed and this will be our answer on example number 13 we have fifth root of 243 x raised to 10 y raised to 15 so to simplify this one, let us have the fifth root of 243, and that is 3. And let us rewrite the fifth root of x raised to 10, y raised to 15. And since our index is 5, let us divide the exponent of x and y by 5. So let us have 3, fifth root of x raised to 5 x raised to 5, if you are going to add, that is 10. And for y raised to 15, that is y raised to 5, y raised to 5, and y raised to 5, total of 15. So let us write 3, and we have 2 x raised to 5, and that is x squared, and 3 y raised to 5, that is y cubed. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have fifth root of 64, x raised to 8, y raised to 12. So to simplify this one, let us have the factors of 64, which one of the factor is perfect fifth root. And that is 32 times 2. And let us divide the exponent of x and y by 5 because our index is 5. That is x raised to 5, x raised to 3, and for y, that is y raised to 5, y raised to 5, and y square. The fifth root of 32 is 2. And then we have x raised to 5, that is x. And 2, y raised to 5, that is y square. Fifth root of 2, x cubed, y square. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.